every day on this show, uh, what I want you to figure out is the area of this shape right here. If you need to pause the video and you know try to work on this yourself, um, then when you're ready to solve it, hit the play button. Remember, uh, the formula is area equals length times width. And you're going to have to, a little hint right here, you're going to have to kind of separate this into maybe rectangular shapes. And you're going to try to have to figure out the missing length of this uh, um, distance right here. And from here to there, you got have to figure out the missing length right there. So it's kind of a challenge problem right there. And like I said, when you're ready to, you know, check it out with me, hit the play button. And before I start that, I want to kind of also talk to you about a few um, people that have been putting comments. Nathan is uh, watching us every single day. So hello out there, Nathan. I also have people from India and um, let me see here, Philippines. We have... Um, let me here, see here. We have somebody from Somalia, Bangladesh. Um, a lot of people out there. Uh, somebody's name is Lawrence. So thank you very much for watching our show there. Uh, somebody else likes my beatboxing. Um, and let me see here. Who else here? Um, we have Claudia and also Finn from third grade has always been watching our show. So thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Without that, um, this would, show would not be possible. So it's because of you guys and all your support that have been helping out with my show. All right, let's begin here. Um, wow, um, big shape here. Don't worry, we're gonna take it step by step. We need to figure out the distance from here to there. Now, I know that this is 18 feet from here to there. And from here to there is eight feet. And if I had to mark a line from here to there, that would be 10 feet. And I have four feet right there. So 10 minus four would be six. So this would be six feet right here. Now I need to figure out the distance from here to there and the total would be 10 feet so if i had to draw a line from here to there that would be 10 feet right here i'm just marking it up that you know when you do math just mark up the whole paper draw some figures just have fun with it from here to there is 10 feet and i have five feet here and three feet here so i have five six seven eight and then 10 minus eight would be two so i'm going to put two right here two feet okay all right here, let's see here. Now, the trick for doing this is I have to kind of like separate these into rectangles because uh, for me, it's just a lot easier to find the, the, the area using rectangles. Now, like I said, there are so many different ways on how you can achieve this answer. I'm just gonna do it this way today. So, um, let me see here. I'm just gonna draw this imaginary line right here. Do, 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 do. And this is the shape that I want to work with, all right? I know from here to there is eight feet, and from here to there is 10 feet. So area right here is length times width, and so that would be eight times 10, okay? So eight times 10 is 80. So I have 80 right here. Now I need to figure out this part right here. Now, there's a lot of different ways you could do that. I could separate it as rectangles, or I can do this big one right here and then subtract this little spot right here. I'm just gonna use addition today. So I'm gonna do another imaginary line from, let me see here, how am I gonna do that? I might do this one here. You can use those little sound effects if you want to. This is six feet and we have two feet, all right? Area equals six times two. So area equals 12. Okay. Now we have from here to there. That is six feet plus four feet. And I'm going to just bring this one out a little bit. If you ever get confused, just make another rectangle right there. So six plus four would be 10. All right. So this is 10 up here. And from here to there is three. 
I'm going to put a 3 right there. So that would be 10 times 3. And if you ever get that mixed up and you say 3 times 10, it's going to give you the same answer, right? Don't worry about that stuff. So now I have 10 times 3 would be 30. So this is 30 right here. We're almost done. We're almost done. Now I got to take these numbers here, 80, 30, and 12, and add those together. So I put 80 right here, 12, and then 30. Add that together. 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this would be squared feet. So I have 122 squared feet. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, there are so many different ways to find this answer. Your teacher might have a different way. When you're doing it, you might have, you know, started out with a, a rectangle going this way. It, it doesn't matter as long as you come up with the same answer. That's the cool thing about math. It's like a puzzle. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Tell me about your day. Check out my other channels. I have an outdoor channel and another learning channel that I'm starting up. And like always, have a beautiful day. I got to practice catching those. All right, we'll talk to you later. Adios. Bye-bye.